a Facebook group member asked me to do a silhouette studio tutorial on the transparent lace designs. So let's get into it. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to share some tips for getting these cut and weeded because they are a bit intricate. You're going to need both a solid silhouette cut file and some lace patterns. I got all of mine from Creative Fabrica, but you can also look on the Silhouette Design Store and they have some options as well. Today we're going to be focusing on the offset panel and the modify panel. We're going to look at doing external and internal offsets. We're going to learn to create a compound path with them. We're also going to look at the weld feature so we can hold everything together. Crop is probably the most important lesson here today. So if you have any questions about any of those features, you are in the right spot. Of course, we're going to bring it all together to create some really cool looking designs. And if you sell your designs, they are super popular on Etsy at the moment. Over in Silhouette Studio, I have pulled my silhouette in and I've pulled my lace pattern in. And just by looking at this, the first thing you'll notice is that this lace is not going to completely cover my silhouette image. If I enlarge the lace pattern to the point where it will cover the silhouette, it starts to look less like lace and more like a mandala design. So we need to keep the lace at its original size and build it out so that it's large enough to cover the entire area of the cat silhouette. We're going to do that by duplicating and welding. So let's select the lace pattern and duplicate. We can pull this over to the side. I have my smart snapping feature on so you can see the blue lines light up when they are in fact lined up. But if we zoom in on this, you can see that there is a gap in between the design and we need to fix that before we move on or else it's not going to cut right. You'll want to select one of the panels and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to slide it over until that gap is closed up. Now if we deselect that, you can see that there is no more line there, no more gap. We can select both of these pieces, right click, and weld them together. You can also find the weld feature in the modify panel. It's right up at the top here. Let's zoom back out now. That's almost wide enough to cover the cat and we could pull it out just a little bit, I think without losing too much of the lace effect. It does cover the width of the cat now, but it does not cover the full length. So we need to duplicate this one and set it down underneath and go through the same process of eliminating the gap. I am going to need one more panel. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time and get that set in place before we weld all three of them together. That's going to cover the entire cat and the design is still small enough so that it's going to look like lace instead of a mandala. So we can select all of these, right click and weld them together. Our lace panel is now large enough to cover the entire cat. So we are making good progress here. Before we go on any further though, I'm going to select both of these and duplicate them and set a copy off to the side just in case anything goes wrong while we're working with these files. Now we do need to fill this cat with the lace pattern, but before we do that, we want to create the frame around the cat. So let's go ahead and duplicate the cat. We can set one over here. We know we want that one filled with the lace. This one we're going to use to build out our frame. This time we're going to open up the offset panel we can select the silhouette and create an offset. This one is an external offset. It comes in on the outside of the design, but we want this one pretty small. I'm going to go with 0 0.015 on this and click enter. And this is going to give me just a little bit of wiggle room when I place it on top of the lace cutout. It's going to make it just a little bit easier to center everything. It's not completely necessary, but it is helpful. 
Our next step is to select the cat again. This time we're going to do an internal offset. I like this one to be set at 0.1. Now we can move the original cat away and we have two outlines. We want to select both of them, right click and make a compound path. Now these two are joined together into one element. You can come up to your color fill panel and select your color and it will be filled in for you. You can also find Make a Compound Path in your Modify panel. It's right here under Compound Paths. Let's move on to the most exciting part of the video. We are going to fill our silhouette with our lace pattern and it's really a lot easier than you might think. Just select both of your pieces and crop. This may take a minute because the lace designs have a lot of data in them and sometimes it takes a minute for the system to process. You can see that there are several pieces that are not joined together in this design. There's a lot of bounding boxes. So while they're all selected, we can right click and group them together and that way nothing gets away from us. These pieces in the whiskers are very small and they could be problematic if we were leaving it like that but we are going to bring in our frame that we created and let's bring that to the front we can line both of these up and once again you're going to see those blue lines light up if you have your smart snapping on that means that it is lined up i do like to zoom in and make sure that none of the lace is showing on the outside. You can see here it is just a little bit. So I'm going to select the frame and bump it over until that's not showing anymore. That's going to give me a much smoother cut in the end. The rest of it looks good. Everything is covered up by the frame. Let's fit this design back to the window. Now we're going to select our frame and our lace silhouette and weld them together. You can easily turn this into a two layer design because we saved our original. If we switch this over to white, you can see that we can slide this right in behind there and you can have a double layer decal in no time at all. I highly recommend that you do some test cuts before you cut the entire project out because as you can see here, these little bits and pieces do not like to stay put. I did try several different settings and this was about as good as it got. Now that it's done cutting, you can see all of the bits and pieces that are missing. But the good news is with these designs, they needed to be weeded out anyway. And I'm going to stress at this point that it did take a lot of time and a lot of patience to get this weeded. If you're working with these designs, please take a break when you need a break. It's very hard on your eyeballs, but you can get it done and the results really are amazing. Now for the tips and tricks when cutting and weeding these designs. Keep in mind that some of these cuts are teeny tiny. Do not go too small with these designs. My design was approximately six inches tall by four inches wide and still there were a lot of bits and pieces missing and the lines in between the spaces were very, very thin. Plan on some of these bits and pieces sticking to your blade. It is inevitable. When you're done cutting these projects out, make sure you take your blade out immediately. Unscrew that cap, clean the blade out, or it's just going to mess up the next project. If you have a USB cord, connect by USB when you're cutting these designs out. There is a lot of data that's being transferred from the software to the machine. And if you do not connect by the USB cord, chances are high that there are going to be long pauses while that data is being transferred. Using the USB cable cuts down that pause time. Things are going to run a lot smoother and your design is going to cut a lot quicker. Plan for enough time to get these designs weeded. Like a lot of time, a lot of patience, and maybe a cocktail. You can sprinkle a little bit of baby powder or cinnamon on these cut designs to really bring out the cut lines. That's going to make the whole process of weeding a lot easier. If you use Silhouette Studio to create some of these designs, I'd love to see them in the Facebook group and I'll put the link in the description below. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.